Welcome back to Small Tuber News. I'm your host, Gator the Legend, and I'm here to get you caught up on all the news and drama involving your favorite small tubers. The first story of the day comes from up and coming small tuber How to Be a Dad Without a Dad, also known as Jose de la Roca, a last name that I tried many times to pronounce the same way that Jose does himself and failed every time. He currently only has two videos on his channel and only 11 subscribers. Jose has released what I am guessing is his very first novel, entitled How to Be a Dad Without a Dad. This book is about his life, his childhood, his struggles with alcohol, and how he became the father that he never had. He did not have a father growing up, and that made a huge impact on his life, and it still does to this day. This is a story the Gator can personally relate to. Though my story is quite different, the overall impact is the same. My biological father was not a good man. I'm assuming he still isn't a good man. I've only seen him once since I was nine years old. After that, I did have a stepdad till I was 18, but that was a far from pleasant experience. Jose only became a father two years ago. He strives to be a better person for his son. He wants to provide better for his son. He wants his son to have a father, and he wants his son to grow up and know how to be a dad, since Jose himself had no one to show him how to be one. In another part of the book, he goes into how his brother was a strong male role model for him, and how his brother showed him how to be a man and how to be a dad. This is another part of Jose's story that the Gator personally relates to. Though I never had a strong male role model at home growing up to look up to, I was fortunate enough to have a teacher in my life that I looked up to and had a significant impact on my life and who I turned out to be. Jose grew up with parents addicted to alcohol and became an alcoholic himself. He used to blame his parents for his alcoholism, but then a little over four years ago, he stopped blaming them and took responsibility for his own choices. He has now been sober for over four years. He goes into depth in the book about his addiction and overcoming it. Jose wants his story in this book to let people out there that are struggling from addiction or struggling from anything else know that there is hope. I wear this bracelet every day as a reminder of how far I've come. I have what people like to call an addictive personality, and over the years it's caused a lot of issues for me. It took a lot for me to overcome my issues. It is no easy feat, and the fight never ends, no matter how long you go without a relapse. The crazy thing about addiction is you can be in recovery, but you can never be recovered. This is why you will see people still going to AA meetings decades since their last drink. A powerful story about taking negative experiences and using them to become a better person and father. There are so many people out there that have deep-rooted issues because of their fucked up fathers. So many will follow in their dad's footsteps. This is a book that can have the power to change the way a person might be headed, to change the way a person thinks, to help them not feel alone and realize there is indeed hope, even in the darkest of times. Our next story comes from rising small tuber Linda's House of Chill. Over on Twitter, the Gators hit some milestones recently. On my Twitter dedicated to this show, at SmallTuberNews, Linda became my 400th follower. I was overjoyed with hitting 400 followers in such a short period of time, I had to reach out and thank her. In an ironic twist of fate, over on my other Twitter, at GatorTheLegend, I hit 600 followers. And I'll give you one guess who my 600th follower was. That's right, it was Linda's House of Chill again! I couldn't believe it. Hell, she couldn't believe it. She went as far to say that she needed to go out and buy a lottery ticket considering how lucky she is. I want to personally thank Linda and everyone else who follows me on Twitter. It is always a fun time and a great way to stay in contact with my Gator Knights. The next story is about a small tuber music creator I have featured once before over my outro, D. Gunther Music, also known as James D. Gunther, and he has some very exciting news to share with all of us. Hey, I just graduated in electrical engineering. By the use of the explanation point at the end of his tweet, I picked up that he is very excited about this accomplishment. Being someone who only ever graduated from high school, I find this to be amazing news. The excitement I feel is overwhelming. I'm not sure how to express it. I'm not sure. <laughs> 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 Congratulations, James, and good luck to you in your future career. Our last story of the day comes from rising small tuber Gator the Legend. That's right, folks, yours truly has made the news. A little over a week ago, I danced with death. I looked death right in his eyes, and I didn't flinch. Instead, I spit in its face, and I said, Not today, death. Not today. There is no explanation to explain my survival. It was a very sunny and very hot day. Due to lawnmower issues, the grass in my yard was over two feet tall. Finally, I had a working mower and began what would be a very long and exhausting job. 
It's important to remember that without my prescription glasses, I cannot see well at all. Everything is nothing more than a blur. However, this was indeed a very sunny day, so I chose to wear sunglasses and risk not being able to see well. <sighs> After finishing the front yard and getting through with half of the backyard, the end was in sight. I pushed the mower across the yard one last time. As I reached the fence where the honeysuckle tree resides and turned the mower to head back the other way, I reached down to grab a stick that I just saw lying there. When I stood up, I noticed hundreds of little dots swarming around my head. For a second, I had no clue what it was. Then I looked to my left, and six inches from my fucking face hung a four-foot-tall, two-feet-wide honeybee swarm. In my heart was nothing but panic. All I could think is, this is it. The, the end is now. It's all over. But somehow I kept my composure, and I didn't freak the fuck out. I slowly walked away, turned off the mower, and got the hell out of there. A bee swarm is when the old queen of a beehive or nest leaves with around 60% or more of the worker bees and heads off to start a new home. They will post up sometimes for days in an area and eventually move on until they find the perfect place to build their new home. I'm not gonna lie, I walked a line that day. One wrong move, one bad decision, and that's it. The gator would be no more. Maybe I just got lucky, or maybe, just maybe, I have been chosen by the gods. Don't forget to stay tuned until the end of the show to listen to today's featured small tuber musical artist. Today's music artist is That Strange Channel 2 and his original song, Minecraft Gangster Hanging Out Album. Go and check out his channel and every other small tubers channel I mentioned today and show them some support. Tell them the Gator sent you. And if you want a story to be featured on SmallTuber News, hit me up, either in the comments below, on Twitter, at GatorTheLegend, or at SmallTuber News. Or send me an email to GatorTheLegend at Yahoo.com. And you just made me been... Me, 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 me. And on small tuber news. And if you never want to miss an episode, make sure to subscribe with notifications on. Because if you don't ring the bell, it's like you're not even subscribed at all. Thank you guys so much for joining me today, and until next time, I've been Gator the Legend, and this has been Small Tuber News. Fortnite, nah. PUBG, nah. It'll all be about that Minecraft Hunger Games, brah. When me and my crib come in and play, no one forgets our names. I'm the Minecraft gangster, no one's stopping me. I got diamonds beyond the eye I can see. I'll punch you like I punch trees. You better get up and take your leave.